Hi, welcome to another pick a card video. As mentioned in the title, this one covers what is next in love. Um, I got the idea and the inspiration from this um, from the fact that when I was younger, I would read all these Sarah Dessen books and all the fun things would happen over the summer. And since the last few days, the idea or the words what's blossoming, what's blossoming kept coming into my mind. And what is a better representation of blossoms than flowers? So I just thought I would use like these handcrafted flowers that I found in my house as objects that you can choose for this video. Because it just, it goes with the theme of the video. Like what is blossoming for you? What is coming next? And given that where I'm at, um, summer is just on the brink, like spring and summer. I thought it would be really fitting for this video to use flowers. So um, for each of these flowers, I have done a bunch of research in terms of its underlining symbolic uh, and spiritual meaning. So we would obviously get into that for each of these readings just to extract and see how much more information we can get about what is happening in terms of your love life and what is coming next and basically how it's going to make you feel how it's going to impact you and how it's going to like how you're going to enjoy this time of your life so um, as always i have four handcrafted flowers for you the first one is um, a bell flower um, okay, so it, like bellflower is actually supposed to be like this. So, but it reminds me of like the bellflower. So, the first one is a bellflower. The second one is a dahlia. It's so intricate and beautifully made. Um, this one reminded me instantly of the cotton flower. I don't know why. So, the third one is a cotton flower. And the fourth one is a foxglove. It's really pretty. I think it goes like this. And there are many of them and that's what makes the foxglove. But yes. So as always, take as long as you like to choose the flower that calls to you the most. And timestamps will be given in the description linked to the flower that you choose. And you can click on that and go directly to your reading. And I will see you in the first one. Hi, so if you choose the first flower, the bell flower, then this is going to be your reading. Um, I just have to say that just um, when I'm shuffling for this pile, um, not just because it's called bell flower, I felt like I could hear bells, you know, like because it's named after bells because of its shape. But it just, I felt like I could hear bells and it, to some extent, I think to some, for some segment of you guys, this could actually mean like wedding bells. But a larger part of me, like the more dominant part of me feels like the sound of bells just means like the sound of happiness and cheerful and being cheerful and like enjoying summer and, you know, just like doing things that bring about cheer and like, you know, nice music, like maybe dancing or like going on long walks and listening to your favorite music but like the sound of bells is just the sound of like the feeling optimistic and positive and you know just a nice feeling you know like how people hear when bells like it cheers people up instantly so that's the kind of feeling i was getting when i was like looking at this flower and shuffling the cards but obviously we're going to like get more in-depth into this flower from my little black book where I've made like notes and stuff. So um, when it comes to the bell flower, the basic meaning of this, the spiritual meaning and symbolism is that the bell flower represents gratitude, constancy, support and romance. Regardless of species or variety, they share a common set of meanings and symbolism. Like there are over 500 species of this flower like in different colors and variety but um, overall the symbolic meaning of the bell flower is gratitude, constancy. I feel what this means is consistency, something that is solid and something that is constant. Then there's support and there is romance. So I guess the bell meaning in romance for this flower is like wedding bells. 
which could apply to some of you like maybe you guys would get married in the summer or whenever you watch this after that but basically just you know excitement and feeling good i feel um since there were so many different varieties of this flower like in terms of colors they have different meanings for different colors so when it comes to the cream bell flower which is this one um it means thoughtfulness grace elegance hope and peace so you know i told you that i was feeling like the optimism and the fun and the enjoyment because of the sound of bells so if some of you have been going through something like a slump or something in terms of your love life or like you know not being as hopeful and optimistic about it as before or just in general like going through a low phase then i think the bell flower is something that brings in optimism and brings in a sense of like hope and peace also with the words grace and elegance it reminds me of the fact that maybe some of you would go through a little bit of a self transformation like a glow up that would make you feel good that would in turn like propel your love life like make you more confident so you would go out more and because you went out more you would meet more people or meet your person and that would like propel your love life so that's just something that came to my mind like you know um amping yourself up becoming more graceful more elegant more skilled also i feel Now in terms of ancient Roman mythology it is linked to the beauty of the goddess Venus and to a certain extent her vanity so um in case any of you guys are interested in Roman mythology this could be something interesting um in the Victorian era the cream colored ones were most popular for bouquets um and if they came in like pyramid shape like this i think this does you know um call for pyramid shape it means commitment so something that is more long term but i think that got covered in like the constancy or consistency like something that is here to stay so yes um the bell flower in terms of gifting in terms of gifting it means like gratitude and saying thank you for your love and support so in case somebody gifts you or you want to gift it to somebody this is the symbolic meaning of the bell flower in terms of gifting okay um it was also mentioned a lot in shakespeare's sonnets as i have been told i have not read so many of his sonnets so i don't know for sure but i found one the thing about his sonnets is that he mentions roses violets daisies uh, daffodils as plainly as their names but when it comes to the bell flower i've not really found the word bell flower used in his sonnets anywhere but i found a passage where i think um the flower he's talking about is the bell flower so i'm going to just read it out it's from a midsummer night's dream so yet marked i wear the bolt of cupid fell it fell upon a little western flower before milk white now purple with lovers wound and maidens call it love in idleness so that's the sonnet and it's from a midsummer's night dream um given this roman and victorian thing your person or you could be interested in like mythology or like literature so that's just some stuff i'm trying to pull from like this flower um the origin of this flower is um some are species some species are native to north america while others are found exclusively in europe like you know um on the hilly slopes the northern hemisphere some parts in mountainous regions of asia and africa so that is where you like find this flower and it's been cultivated since the 17 and 1800s um it's an annual or perennial but and it prefers cooler climates so this just gives me the feeling that maybe your person could be from like europe or like from america since it is north america but for some segments of you this asia and africa could be important places where you find the person or where you are from or just you know where you meet your person um for 
the other flowers no actually only one i found like it was symbolic of a birth month but for this it is not um late spring till the end of fall is the time like these flowers bloom and blossom so um since i'm filming this on the brink of spring um like if you're watching this now this romance of yours or whatever is happening next in love could happen like in this time period like late spring till the end of fall like that's your period maybe like that's when you find your person or that's when like you enjoy your love thing i mean it could be anything i don't want to be so specific since this is a general reading but just basically if we are looking at a time period then this could be that um in terms of its negative meaning the only negative meaning this flower has that i could find is vanity which is connected to venus because um there's this little story i don't know it too well and it was too long to write so basically she had this mirror and the mirror would show her the most beautiful things in the world and then one day she lost the mirror and a shepherd got it and she sent her son the cupid to retrieve the mirror and when he did um it broke into many shards and those shards i think became these flowers or something so it has something to do with vanity but yeah um that's the only negative connotation i could find so far so yeah that is more than that is what i have about the bell flower if it's of any significance to you with the whole uh, victorian age and the shakespeare thing i feel like this phase of yours or what is happening in your love life could be extremely romantic your person could be interested in like shakespeare in literature they could be interested in mythology um you know and also in terms of its actual meaning which is gratitude constancy support and romance your partner could be very supportive of you and obviously this whole thing would be extremely romantic this phase or like whatever is happening next in your love life even if it is not to phase i feel like for some of you because of the consistency and the constancy um this could be something that is for like the long ride or the long haul this could be like big picture stuff anyway so that is what i had on the flower let's just go on to like the cards so um this reading is going to be divided into three parts the first one is um your current situation or your current status basically like how you're feeling currently um regarding love or like where you are at maybe at the start of a cycle maybe in the middle of one maybe at the end of one um the next one is going to be what's going to happen and the last part of this reading is going to be just any extra general messages like we have all these oracle cards so like any extra messages that your spirit your spirit guides or your angels or the universe wants you to know about this connection or like what's going to happen any guidance any pointers any tips for you so yeah that is what we have for now okay so in terms of where you are right now um we have the five of cups we have the nine of cups okay a lot of cups energy which is funny because it's also like the shape of this flower a lot of emotions and we have page of cups okay so um let me just adjust this I feel like maybe some of you are kind of reeling from like a situation or something that has left you feeling sad. Sorry, I just had to adjust the camera because it didn't feel like it was angled well. So Yeah, it just feels like some of you guys have been in a situation or just come out of a situation where like you're left feeling sad and regretful or like i don't know just like you know in a place of like despair because like 
that is what this means it means like you know being attached to old situations or old people or like old perspectives and dwelling on what is lost rather than what has to be found because like behind this guy there are these two upright cups which means like there is so much more ahead for you to experience and feel but you're dwelling on what is lost so i feel like for some of you this could very well mean like you just come out of like a relationship or like out of a romance or something that left you feeling sad like a breakup like you've an end of a cycle of sorts and um instead of like you know letting it go you're still dwelling over what is lost and that is making you feel sad but um the hope isn't completely dead yet because with the 9 of cups and the page of cups i definitely feel like you are still extremely hopeful when it comes to like love and finding the person the page of cups especially makes me feel like that innocent enthusiasm and that hopefulness that people have when like you know they are innocent is still like there somewhere inside of you you just have to like bring it out the 9 of cups um the 9 of cups i have two interpretations for this this means like you know to a certain extent going out and just like having fun in a bit of a light heartedness rather than like you know zooming in into something very serious very suddenly um but like you know just like feeling happy you know putting your wishes watching your wishes translate into reality like you know doing fun things enjoying life um it also gives me the feeling that some of you are like trying to manifest somebody like your ideal partner because the 9 of cups also means like the universe is like hearing you it's like yeah mhm mm i've heard your wish and don't worry it's coming it's coming it's being fulfilled and with the page of cups it's like you've made this wish and you're waiting for it to be granted and you're waiting like patiently and innocently and just like you know being happy and happy go lucky and not really giving a crap so although it's like you're hurting or you're reeling from like this past breakup there is still like this sense of hopefulness and it's like a little bit of a wait because cups on the whole are like the slower moving energy when it comes to tarot the 9 of cups also to a certain extent gives me the feeling that maybe some of you guys have been like disappointed with like relationships or something so because of that you have like lowered your standard a little bit so like instead of expecting like the 10 of cups kind of energy like i 100% you're okay with like 90 but that could just be for some of you guys but a more loud and prominent message is that you're just looking to like you know manifest somebody enjoy your time and like you know find your old happiness enthusiasm and innocence the thing about the page of cups is that this is somebody who's very friendly who people like being around around and like you know they enjoy like they're happy go lucky they don't carry so much baggage and they feel happiness and enjoyment with like the smaller things in life like how this person is so innocently looking at this cup and this little fish like he's already captivated by it and it's such a simple thing you know um it's like the smaller things in life bring you joy and um given that you know the water in this background is like it's not like very a uh, wavy it's like just flowing it's like you know to like let that emotional baggage go not carry it forward to be light weight to not carry so much of extra unnecessary baggage to be free of what you're feeling right now so i feel like you very badly want to trans like transform from being here to here because you're this person is like looking down and feeling morose and feeling sad but you this person is looking at this little cup and this fish popping out with so much enthusiasm and fascination and i think that's what you want to be like you know find your zest again and feel happy again and be curious and explore different things and basically go out and have fun and at the same time manifest somebody with whom you can do all these fun things like a partner in crime so like that's where i feel like you guys are currently in terms of like your love situation 
letting something go and like becoming this free lightweight person who's like enthusiastic about what is yet to come and it's like here you're turning away from these two cups but here it's like you're holding up this cup so if you're feeling like at the bottom of the pit right now um it's going to take effort on your part to like come here but it is going to happen because that zest that fire that feeling of optimism is not dead inside of you it's very much alive you just have to see it and find it and like play towards it and like free yourself of it so that is what i see as your current energy a lot of water energy like all these three cards are cups so like water signs may be very prominent for you guys um pisces cancer scorpio or maybe those months are important since march is done um july and november could be important and i think that falls in the time frame of what i told you when it came to this flower you know um late spring end of fall so i think november falls in the category of end of fall and like um july falls somewhere at the end of spring and like start of summer at least in the western countries like north america for them summer, summer is july for us summer is april may so you know um those could be very important months for you i feel like right now you are here and you have to still do this transformation but when you do it's like you're going to feel happiness again you're going to find your person again and you're going to be more optimistic when it comes to love you know right now i feel like you're like what's the point you know um is there any hope for me at all like am i going to feel zesty and enthusiastic and happy and free and light with somebody ever again am i going to find somebody who makes me feel those things but you are 100% you just have to like look up and like walk away from this or like let this go like release it because there's so much more left for you in the two of cups in the traditional tarot the two of cups basically means like you know finding a mirror of yourself like finding your soulmate finding your partner your perfect partner who mirrors you who understands you with whom you can be in complete harmony and sync so it's like if you stop dwelling on this and just turned around and looked at this i think there's so much more for you to experience still and there is so much hope for somebody somebody with whom you can enjoy life and just not give a crap about the world and just have a nice time and like truly enjoy this person's company and this person enjoying your company so it's like you know it just find that happiness and innocence and that like that pure joy like you know without expectation when you meet somebody and you just happen to have a nice time like find that again that's what i see and i see that that's what you guys to a certain extent are yearning to become so definitely a transformation is happening and i think it's going to happen within you and that's going to propel you to like find somebody and like what is hap like you know make your own love life bloom or blossom so yes that is what i see but let's look at what's coming next for you guys um we have the 9 of swords okay we have the sun and we have the queen of wands okay i kind of like this so um like i told you you have to let something go so if you are in a phase right now where um you know you're still since this has come under this i feel like um i feel like there's going to be the shift from being this person who agonizes and cries over what they've lost you know especially at night like not being able to sleep feeling sad um having insomnia having all the negative thoughts and most of this is brought upon yourself by yourself i see a transformation that from becoming this you're going to like have become like this queen and like have so much fun in the sun like you're going to have your time in the sun and this i think goes perfectly well with like the blooming and the summer feeling and the blossoming i told you about you know spring summer 
I think that's an essential time for you guys. This, um, the sun is Leo energy, so that is August. August, July could be important months. Like I told you about the time frames with like this. So, and, but I definitely feel like somebody is going to come. The Queen of Wands means like the entering of somebody who's like warm, who's enthusiastic. Somebody with whom you can have a lot of fun and enjoy. You know, have your time in the sun. So definitely from like all this water energy and feeling sad and agonizing over something, you're going to like have a lot of fun. The Queen of Cups, a Queen of Wands, I'm sorry, talks about somebody who is like warm, compassionate, inspiring, fun, loving, and somebody who sees things from start to end. You know, um, they don't just do things for the heck of it. They, they do things from start to an end. So something that is like more long lasting. Something that is here to stay. So it's not just a summer romance. It may happen during the summer. But I think it's like more enduring and long lasting. The Queen of Wands also makes me think of like somebody who is very much in touch with like their feminine side. So in case like you're a girl looking for a guy, then the Queen of Wands is somebody who's in touch with their feminine side. So I feel like somebody who understands empathy, who is very sensitive to a certain extent, somebody who's nurturing, somebody who has a very soft side. You know, um, that is what I see but definitely your time in the sun so i feel like there's gonna be this huge shift and both these are very fast moving energies so i feel like when this person comes into your life i would definitely like say august time because like the sun is august and the queen of wands is also fire energy but also yeah this could also indicate april since like this video is coming out in april I think so like this could be very well within this month itself for some of you but like April, August, December but I'm leaning more towards August time um, but I don't want to be so specific since this is a general reading and I, it's better not to be so specific so definitely somebody is going to like come into your life and like the way this person is pointing and looking this way I feel like they're going to come and they're going to like take you, bring you out of like this feeling of despair. So I feel like, you know, the transformation I talked about before, like something that's going to happen within you. So um, to a certain extent, you're going to be responsible for your own transformation. But I feel like now this person is going to help you become that. Like from being this to becoming this and like finding your joy and innocence and feeling happy again. But definitely I see a lot of fun like in the sun. So the thing about the sun card is like, you know, feeling optimistic, feeling happy, feeling the glory of the world on you. Like anything is possible. Feeling that, you know, that invincible watching your dreams come true. And since it's come under the nine of cups, which is basically the card of like having fun and watching your manifestations come alive. I feel like you guys would do a lot of activities together. Maybe even travel, even be outdoors, like maybe go on long walks, go on hikes, you know, probably be around nature because of like the flowers. Maybe, maybe, maybe that when you go on these walks and all alone, you may meet your person outdoors or something. There is a possibility. I don't want to be so sure, but basically that. But this person who comes in is going to like show you the light and the darkness because the queen of wands basically means like, you know, the candle, the lit candle in the darkness. So like this is night energy, like this is at night. And she basically is somebody who comes and like lights a fire in the darkness and pulls you out of it. And from being in like this dark and despairing place, you're going to come out in the sun and in the daytime and actually enjoy it. Feel the warmth on your skin. Feel happy. Do fun things together. Travel. But also if you had like all these ideas like, oh my God, I really want to go to a flea market. I want to go thrift shopping. It's like you guys, all your wishes and dreams of like doing fun things together will like manifest and come true. 
since it's come under this and this basically what it means and it's gonna make you feel very optimistic like anything is possible i can do anything i'm having the time of my life with this person and it's like you're going to be in your full glory and you're like like actually truly blossom so i love this energy it's like you're going to be pulled out from this and like come actually into the light and this person is going to help you do it you know um this is somebody you're going to look up to a lot somebody who inspires you a lot this person is also very optimistic the queen of wands also because like you know she lights a fire in the darkness i feel like for many of you guys this could also indicate a lot of late nights out like maybe going dancing drinking to clubs like doing fun things together so yeah and she's somebody who sees things from start to an end so although this romance may start in the summer i feel like it's going to be extremely long lasting when it comes to like your love life something that's going to be for the longer haul to say also this is since this is fire energy your person could be of like these zodiacs aries leo and sagittarius somewhere in their birth chart it could be placed or this could be also your zodiac signs and if it is it's a confirmation this is your pile but again this is again a lot of water energy so either of these could be like your zodiac signs so is there anything else i have to say no just somebody you can connect with somebody with whom you can lean on and feel warm and feel taken care of because that's the feeling i get from the queen of wands this is somebody other people also admire you know but like somebody is going to come in and you're going to really have a lot of fun with this person and i think it's going to be something for a really long time like a long haul kind of situation and in this fun you're going to find your enthusiasm your childlike curiosity and happiness again so yes now we'll move on to your oracle cards to get any extra messages so let's just see what's there in that okay so um for your oracle cards i love the imagery of this again this reminds me of like being outdoors in the midst of nature you guys could very well be going on like hikes and nature walks together or exploring the great wilderness i think in north america that is like very um very what's the word i keep forgetting prevalent going out and being in nature and camping because of all the all the national parks and stuff so yeah um okay so the first one is close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in so i think this is very relevant to where you are at like right now you know in terms of like how you're feeling so i think this is just a message for you like if you allow joy in and you know you deserve it not only are you going to bring happiness into your life but you're going to attract your partner as well so that is something that you guys should keep in mind the next card is if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul so you remember i said that you know your manifestations are going to come true and you're going to feel like you can do anything So I feel like with this person you can truly express like your heart's desires like I really want to do this I really want to go on a spiritual retreat in the Himalayas or I want to go to a flea market or I want to just you know go and camp in Yosemite National Park or something and you know this person would be like let's go let's do it because the wands energy also reminds me of like you know this adventurous side of a person so like i think this person is going to be very adventurous also so it's like if you want to do something they are more than enthusiastic enthusiastic to like support you in doing so so it's like this person is going to like smother you to a certain extent with like happiness and enthusiasm and fun activities that you have no choice but to like become this happy person instead of being somebody who's just moping around in bed every day and like 
looking at like what you've lost you're going to become this person who just enjoys and your person is going to like pull you out of that and bring you and make you this person and i feel like a lot of adventure and fun stuff is in store for you at least like the initial part of your meeting and like the initial part of your relationship a lot of fun is in store for you but i think that gets carried forward even in terms of the long term because with this person you feel warm you feel like the sun is shining on you like you're having your moment in the sun you can truly express what you like what you want to do and this person because of like their own enthusiastic nature and their own adventurous side they are more than happy and supportive of you and your dreams and your ideas so i think a lot of fun a lot of passion as well okay now in terms of like your ask your angel cards we have perfect timing so i think to a certain extent destiny is going to play a role in this or like the universe so you're going to meet this person in perfect timing and i think what this also means is that because you've like experienced this low when this person comes in and like makes you happy and pulls you out of this pit of despair that you are in and like shows you the good side of world of life you're going to feel extremely grat you're going to feel very grateful so i think that also goes with like the meaning of this flower like gratitude to say thank you you're going to be extremely thankful for this person and it was necessary for you to like feel this way in order to feel that gratitude that like glues and glues and like holds your relationship together like maybe in your past relationships um you felt happy and you felt thankful and all but not the way you're going to feel with this person like truly with your whole heart like feel happy and thankful and so completely grateful and i think perfect timing means like it was meant for it to happen this way like you were supposed to like feel down when this person came and pulled you out in order to like truly love this person wholly and be thankful and sometimes like when you are in that state of gratitude and like being thankful better things come into your life like this is something i've experienced personally like not just romantically but in general like being in a space of gratitude and having that is a very nice feeling it's very positive it's very optimistic so i think like because it's going to put you in this place of like gratitude more and more good things are going to constantly happen to you in your relationship with this person or like you're going to attract more happy or things so i think that's where like perfect timing comes into play the next card is abundance so <laughs> um when i was shuffling um this card fell and for some reason i didn't turn it around so i put it back away my camera keeps cutting but basically um this card the same card fell twice so i was like it was meant to come into this reading so i feel like abundance is something long term for you guys like you're going to build a life of abundance together because like i explained to you the perfect timing because you're in a state of gratitude you invite more opportunities more things into your life and because like you're in this place of optimism and like the sun is shining on you like you're going to have your time in the sun abundance is like inevitable so i think like in terms of long term you guys are going to have a very happy and abundant life together you and your partner like i don't think money is going to be an issue because like with the queen of wands i already feel like to a certain extent they are at a certain level in terms of their profession and career and stuff but like with the abundance card i think it's assured for you guys to like have a very happy and abundant life together moving forward and like what's going to hold your relationship together is this optimistic and this fun side you'll have towards each other like you know be each other's best friend and like do fun things together and feel grateful about it so i feel like gratitude is going to be like the binding element into in like in your relationship and that is i think the first meaning that came up when i looked at this flower so the last card is sweet pea blissful pleasure follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls so i think this just reiterates the abundance and like opening yourself up to like opportunities and happiness 
also um these cards come with like an inspirational message um so i'm going to just read it from the book so the message is the poet keats may have been the first to call the sweet pea by its common name which derives from the greek word lateros for pea or pulse and the latin word odoratus meaning fragrant sweet peas of many colors provided an important element in the edwardian potpourris and wedding bouquets and symbols of bliss the victorians were fond were fond of the flower sweet fragrance as well as its charming butterfly shape after an enjoyable visit a bunch of sweet peas were customarily given as a gift to say thank you for your lovely time so i think although this is a different flower from this the meaning is the same to say thank to say thank you to have happiness and bliss and abundance to be grateful for like the person you have and the inspirational messages invite spirit into your life by simply allowing yourself to be inspired spend your energy on creative passions and you will find your bliss so like i said doing fun passionate things together and that's like going to bring more bliss and happiness into your relationship with this person but um i forgot to say the bells thing so in case you know you guys are not getting married or something like you know those who are like probably already in a relationship with somebody um this could very well lead to wedding bells moving forward i just wanted to say just occurred to me when i was reading the meaning of this you know um something long term so yes also um it just occurred to me that your reading is kind of like a midsummer night dream you know the sonnet because uh the line that said before milk white now purple with lovers moon so like if you are like colorless right now in a way you know feeling sad and like lacking color this relationship is going to bring that spot of color into your life like these are cream but with like the touch of your person they might as well become lilac or purple or whatever was in that poem but it's going to feel like a romantic actual midsummer's night dream you know like i told you it could entail like late nights and stuff with the queen of wands so doing fun things i feel summer is going to be very crucial for you that is when you're going to come into union with this person and everything else is going to be what your connection is about leading to like a long term commitment in future but yeah that's what i see for you guys it's been a really nice reading though it like i think it's been pretty long but i really feel good about it even though my camera like stopped midway like four times so but yeah i really like this reading especially like with the flower i think the flower itself brought in much more meaning than the cards the cards were just like iterating what the flower had to say but yeah this is somebody you're going to feel very happy passionate and open with somebody who's going to bring color and happiness and joy into your life and a relationship that is filled with optimism gratitude bliss and because there's so much of it you're attracting more of it in long term abundance and i think even long term marriage and commitment so yeah that is to summarize this whole reading um that is all that i have for you group 1 those of you who chose the bell flower i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please to consider liking this video sharing it with those who you think may enjoy it as well a uh, commenting with what resonated and finally subscribing to my channel because that would like give me enthusiasm to make more such videos and i will see you in my next video bye hi so if you ch guys chose the second flower the dahlia this beautiful intricate flower then um this is going to be your reading um i just have to mention that um When I saw this flower and I decided to use it for the readings, the first thing that came to my mind was that um, it's so finely crafted, like it's so intricate in the way it's been made. So that just made me feel like you know, um, the word skill set or skills kept coming into my mind. If that is of like importance to you or anything, um. 
I just it gave me a sense that either you guys have a creative side that you're like work and refine and work hard at or um this could just be like one of the ambitious piles you know um where you or your partner may just have a very uh, distinctive career focus at this point or just in general like a fancy career trajectory of sorts maybe but anyway um moving forward um the way this reading is going to work is that first i'm just going to talk about the dahlia the spiritual and symbolic meaning of it then we'll go on to talk about um your cards which uh cover your current status in terms of like your love life then um what is going to happen in terms of like what is next in love what is happening who is coming towards you a little bit about that person a little bit about the romance a little bit about like its impact on you and like its long term its its long term goal or like what it's good its long term outcome or like whatever and then we'll conclude it with all these um oracle cards which just are any extra messages from your spirit guides angels the universe or god or just destiny so yes anyway so back to the dahlia um i've done a bunch of research in my little black book so i'm going to just read out all the meanings i could find about this flower so um the first meaning that came was in a strength due to survival under harsh conditions um so it's supposed to be a very enduring flower a flower that has endured so um either this could mean that your romance will be enduring um or the people involved will be really strong and like maintain a lot of inner strength this could also mean that either you or your partner could be in a place or a situation that involves um using or extending a lot of their inner strength anyway moving on the other meanings include grace elegance standing out of the crowd commitment and honesty so this is definitely a flower that is about like long term not just because of the endurance but it's a flower that symbolizes commitment honesty grace and elegance i mean grace and elegance you can tell always already because of like how beautiful and intricately it's been crafted and like the real flower will even be like softer and lighter and more beautiful to look at this is just a piece of art and craft but still um it also means positive change dignity and creativity so i guess that's where like the creative part came out because of like how nicely it's been crafted so either your person or you could be extremely creative individuals it also means diversity so this gives me the feeling that either you or your partner could like for a segment of you guys your person could be from like a different country or nationality or something um yeah that is what i have but diversity also comes in like you know um the amount of different petals and the shapes and sizes this just gives me the feeling that this is not your regular you know put in a box kind of love story or like love it's something that is unique and diverse and involves a lot of flavor and variety because like even when researching the meaning of this flower there were so many different meanings that were popping up so like it means so many different things it means grace elegance diversity creativity commitment honesty positive change dignity but yeah the dahlia when you look at it it looks very dignified so it's like somebody who's worked really hard and built up a really formidable reputation or like a dignified reputation that's the kind of feeling i get when i look at it and when i look at the meaning so i feel like maybe for some of you um this relationship though will be beautiful and will be like built on honesty and commitment i think to a certain extent for just some of you this relationship may require like a little bit of like hard work in coming together 
like maybe destiny or maybe just like working hard at your own craft and that will like lead you to your person but obviously we'll get more insight when we look at the cards but this is just what i could pull up from the flower now in terms of like the victorian era the dahlia was symbolized as a lasting bond and lifelong commitment between two people so i think because of like the inner strength and the endurance it's it's gone through um it means like despite you know obstacles and stuff coming in the way it's lasted and it's been like long term so maybe pile to a group to those of you who chose this flower your relationship or whatever is coming next in terms of your love life is going to be something that is long lasting or something that is like you know a race till the end kind of a thing like maybe you guys would get married or something um recently it is interpreted as a commemoration of something new new religion new love new faith new habits so it's also like it signifies the start of something new and something that you take up not to let go of that easily so it's like taking up a new habit or a new relationship or a new religion it's something that you're going to like stand by for a really long time but it's like the start of something new so for those of you who are not in a relationship or something um whatever happens next could be something that is brand new something that is completely new and you take to it like um a duck takes to water i think that's the phase i don't know um in terms of gifting when you gift a dahlia like a bouquet of it or something it indicates support love for others kindness good luck congratulations and embracing new positive changes so if somebody gifts it to you like these are the meanings you could find or like if you want to gift it to a special somebody this is what you can keep in mind while gifting it or at least like that is what it means to you like to show your support to show your endurance to show your love for that person kindness good luck congratulations and embracing new positive changes um about the origin and facts about this flower it is native to south america and mexico named after the swedish botanist anders dahl also known as valley flower because the word dals sound similar to valley in swedish so yes um south america and mexico could be important places like in case you guys are pra- planning to travel in the summer or something um maybe your person could be from these places or maybe you meet your person while traveling to these places maybe you know if you are traveling and you happen to come upon a dahlia it could be an indication that your person is close by um valley of flower that also reminds me of like an adventure side and outside being outside a lot um okay moving on it's also called the queen of the autumn garden because they bloom longer than many other garden plants so like i said at the intro of this you know what is blossoming so i feel like not only will your relationship be like enduring and long lasting like probably till the end ish like race till the end or like long term commitment type but um you know that rosy phase people go through like you know the love dap phase i think that's also going to be very long lasting for you guys or maybe it'll just be like continuous it will never stop so yes It's the official flower of Seattle and San Francisco. I didn't know this, but it was a little fact, so I just thought I would include it. Um, these places could again be important for maybe a segment of you watching. Aztecs used it to treat epilepsy, and Atlantic starch derived from it was used as a treatment against diabetes before the discovery of insulin. So it has a lot of healing and medicinal values as well. So maybe for some of you guys, you know, um who chose this are going through a process of healing or maybe your relationship is going to heal something of your past. Or maybe this person who comes in is going to have a healing effect on you or you on them. But like some kind of healing is going to happen because this flower also has like medicinal values and medicinal effects. 
and um, the last bit of this is month so it is considered as the official birth flower for august but some traditions recognize them as the birth flower for november instead so both these months could be important august and november august i think falls under summer months in i think the uh, america and like those western countries for us summer is more close towards april may even like end of march so yes um the only negative meaning of this flower is betrayal dishonesty and instability but yeah that's kind of the opposite because it also symbolizes honesty so i feel like in case you know you guys are going through something a segment of you like you know you've dealt with like betrayal and dishonesty in past relationships i think when choosing this flower would indicate that when your new partner or your new love comes into your life that is going to have a healing impact or healing effect on you on like all the scars of your last relationship has left on to you so yes so this is everything i have about the flower now we'll just move on to the cards so as i told you before we'll just examine your current situation or your current status where you are in your relationship the first one is the chariot okay second one is the sun and we have temperance wow all three are major arcanas okay so wow um the chariot is cancer the sun is leo and temperance is sagittarius so i think we already have a window of like july and august back to back these could be significant months for you in terms of like meeting your person um or just having that rosy phase we were talking about earlier which is like longer than usual but obviously two months is not long so but these could be important months also i believe that um the dahlia is the birth flower for august so um and this the sun is august so maybe for some of you you guys are leos or august born um if not that's no problem it just could be an important month but otherwise um july august and december or like cancer season leo season and sagittarius season could be important months for you guys in terms of like what is happening in your love life and like when it's happening so um first off with the chariot i can already see that um i have two interpretations for this reading so the first one is for those of you who are like single i think you all are already pretty optimistic when it comes to love like you know um you'll have a plan or like you'll have a vision like where you'll want to be but at the same time you'll maintain like this flexibility of i don't mind going out and trying different things and like embarking on this journey so like there's this willingness and openness to like be in a romance and feel happy with the sun i feel like you'll are pretty optimistic when it comes to love like you'll believe in like endless possibilities you'll believe in like the fairy tale romance and all of that you know and like you'll have all these beautiful dreams and visions of like what love is should be like and with the chariot you're you're unafraid to go out and get it and while you'll have like this dream or this vision or this end goal in mind you'll don't mind like you know maintaining flexibility to like go on a detour or change your direction should you need to because you know that at the end of it, at the end of the day destiny and fate play an important role and if like destiny was meant for me to go in that direction instead of this one which i had planned there is a possibility that that direction will lead me to a much happier and a better romance um with the chariot i also get the feeling that some of you might be traveling shortly or like in the summer or just maybe in july or just like traveling shortly and there's a possibility that you might meet your person during your travels so that is one interpretation i had for the second um should wait no let me just finish this so with the temperance although um 
you have these dreams and these goals and you have like these fantasies and the feeling of optimism and endless possibilities and all of that the temperance cult suggests that despite all of this you are still pretty grounded in like what you want you tread with caution you know um because like she has one foot like on land and one foot in water and the way she's like exchanging this she's not even spilling one drop so she has wings but she is on the ground so this gives me the feeling that you know while you have all these dreams and these fantasies of what romance should be like there is still like a part of you that needs to like be grounded and be realistic and i think that is the part that in so many ways is like guiding you as to like what to do next what's going to happen next also um remember i said about like the ambitious part like maybe some of you could be ambitious so i feel like you know while um you are optimistic about romance and love and like what's going to happen there's a chance that maybe you know um you are focused on your craft and your creativity and because you're focused and you're good at it it's like taking you to like a different place like maybe you're traveling for work or something and you're just by and large having a good time and feeling confident about yourself and because like you have that going for you like you're open to love and you're open to possibilities so it's like it's not like it's on your mind but it's not like on the front seat it's like on the back seat a little bit you know i just got that little bit feeling because temperance also means like you know refining making things better making things uh like working hard at your skill to become the best so i definitely feel like you are very skilled individuals you know in whatever work you'll do in your craft and you're getting better at it and that is in a way fueling your confidence that is opening you up for like other aspects of your life namely love so yeah that is just a secondary thing that came to my mind that i thought i should mention anyway the second interpretation i had is that in case you guys are already in a relationship um for some of you i feel like this could be long distance i feel like um there will be a little bit of a like a reunion like you know you will travel to them or they will travel to you and you all will have like your moment in the sun and with this person like although it's going good you feel both you know like you know you're flying but also grounded like this person helps your visions or your dreams come to life like you'll do fun things together and you'll enjoy activities and going outside and traveling and exploring and seeing the world together but at the same time you'll also like this person also brings a sense of groundedness to you you know um that is just something i saw as a secondary interpretation that i thought i should bring up what else is there but yeah i just feel like you know by and large regardless of either of the interpretations you're in a you're in a place in your mind or like you know your status when it comes to love your mindset is that you're hopeful you're optimistic and you're out to have fun you know you're like out there to enjoy and enjoy the sweet bliss of like what is there to offer to you like you know have fun go out have your moment in the sun like roam around wild and free and enjoy the outdoors and do fun activities together the sun is coming up a lot in these readings that came even in the previous one so i feel like summer is going to be a very important month like maybe like summer time is when like you'll come together in case you are already in a relationship with somebody um if you're single summer is when you will meet your person i feel like and i definitely feel like outdoors because all these cards indicate like being outside the chariot especially it means like travel and the sun means like outside 
so in case you know you guys are adventurous or like you know you all are nature lovers and you all are like should i go on that hike should i go on that trek should i go on this trip go because it will probably like you know lead you to your soulmate or to like your future partner or like to your romance and if you're like in a relationship and you're like oh my god should i like make this trip to meet this person and your heart is especially telling you that go for it because it's going to like it's going to make you extremely happy like it's going to bring you a lot of optimism and positivity and like feel like life is about endless possibilities so like there are some people who are not extremely hopeful when it comes to love but there are some people who are like hopeful and actually like to watch like rom-coms on netflix and believe that that kind of stuff will like happen to them and it does so like i feel like this segment is that is those people who are like very positive about love and like believe in the fairy tale magic of it yeah okay so um i think that is it for like this segment of the reading let's move on to like the part you guys clicked on this video for which is um what is next in love so we have okay the page of swords we have the four of wands wow okay and we have the ace of swords okay this is nice this is very nice let me just adjust this a little bit um yes okay so um once again even for this i have two interpretations so i'm going to start with the first one in case you guys are single and are looking for like love i feel like it's going to come into your life with the page of swords i feel like not very it's not going to take a long time to come it's going to come pretty quickly and the page of swords is somebody who is like insightful smart wise and uses their knowledge to like further them and it's not somebody who like broadcasts or endorses their life a lot so i feel like this person who comes into your life is going to be pretty mature and wise and i feel like in many ways in case you know you had like this burning ambitions of like going far and stuff i feel like this person is going to be a really big support to you i think that goes in the meaning of the flower if i'm not mistaken the dahlia means like positive change and support i think that was the meaning i'm just looking at it again but yeah in terms of gifting i think support was one of the things so definitely it's going to like you're going to receive a lot of support the page of swords is also somebody who i feel is very happy go lucky you know they don't take in a lot so i feel like with this person you could like just really enjoy like go out be free be happy you know adventurous explore different things and be lightweight um i also feel like for many of you this could very well be like a fresh new beginning because with the ace of swords that's basically the start of something brand new you know something fresh something completely new that's what ace indicates and i think that also goes with the meaning of the dahlia like you know new beginnings also with the swords energy i get a lot of honesty which also is another meaning of the dahlia so like i feel like this relationship will be very well built on like honesty and like being and having really good clear communication because swords means like clarity and like articulation and good communication so with this person i feel like you will get to be like your true happy go lucky self as well like you won't have to pretend to be somebody else you won't have to like put up a show you can just be your honest self and if you're not this person will sooner or later just figure it out like they'll be like are you being honest with me about this is that really your choice on the menu or are you just taking it because you think like you know i would like that and we could share it no this is somebody with whom you can be totally honest 
also with the ace of swords in case you guys have been like in case you've had like preconceived notions when it comes to love and stuff or like doubts and stuff the ace of swords means like a breakthrough you know like cutting through the nonsense and getting through the heart of the matter like finding the truth and the ace of swords also mentions a lot of enthusiasm and excitement when it comes to like this stuff you know um feeling really excited about this new breakthrough this new idea so whatever this new romance is or this new relationship is or this new person is who comes into your life it's going to make you feel very excited it's going to make you feel like wow i've hit the jackpot like this is something completely brand new and i'm saying this not just because like it's a new relationship to you but i feel like it will feel completely new even from like your past relationships even though you've had some pretty good times in the past this will feel like something completely brand new you know it would feel really i feel for some of you this could feel really stimulating you know in a way maybe you all would do like things together with the temperance i feel like maybe together you all will refine relationships or refine your craft or something but like you all would be in complete sync and harmony one thing though i have to say that because of the amount of swords energy you know the swords here the swords here there could be space and room for like you know a clash of words a little bit of conflict saying mean things to each other in a moment but it would all pan out because at the end of the day you know your communication will be so clear and so good that there would be like all the extra space that is left for like misunderstandings and conflict will just be like cut away and eliminated but yeah a lot of excitement a lot of new stuff happening feeling really happy go lucky you know walking away from like nonsense so i feel like for you guys it would be like a fresh start for a large number of you somebody brand new also with the amount of swords energy this person could very well be like of air sign i know i mentioned these zodiacs before but um aquarius gemini or libra yeah sorry i forgot so yeah this the page of swords reminds me a lot of aquarius energy i don't know why so maybe they have a aquarius placement somewhere in their chart uh coming to the four of wands which is like the jackpot card to get in a love reading it means like this relationship could be really long lasting like it could be till the end it could be marriage because in the traditional tarot this card the imagery of this card is like it has like these wedding bells and this wedding vibes also the four wands look like 11 11 which is like the number of divine timing and the number of angels so i feel like this relationship was meant to happen in divine timing or like was meant to happen it was orchestrated by like your angels or by god but definitely there was some kind of divine intervention that made it happen this means like you know setting your roots down finding stability finding peace finding bliss finding happiness this is basically the card that indicates like you know long term commitment being extremely happy like you know building a good home planning for the future sowing in your roots and like seeing the future also in this card you know with this thing and like this angel looking down and like these wings it means flight so with the chariot and this i definitely feel like from all the fun things you guys do with your partner i feel travel would be a thing like you would fly together like explore the world explore possibilities you know maybe for some of you this could also be somebody with whom you work with really well because both like these swords things like good communication good ideas cutting through the nonsense getting to the heart of the matter coming up with brilliant ideas this could very well indicate like this is somebody you meet via work which i had said earlier um or this is somebody with whom you could have a really wonderful collaboration and that also to a certain way leads to like some kind of marriage so in case you know you're not in like marriage is definitely not on the cards right now in case like some of you have just met um <laughs> 
it could be like you know you'll decide to like take things forward in terms of like your ideas or careers and that works out really well and then in the future you would actually get married for like the traditional meaning of marriage so yeah that is what i see um i have one more interpretation like i had said so in case those of you who are already in a relationship this would mean like you know um i feel a new phase in your relationship you know walking away from things that no longer serve you communicating well you know getting to a higher level you know um getting to the heart of matter so in case you know you have been clouded with some conflict or like miscommunication all that would be like cut away like this would be a little breakthrough and it would open yourself to a lot more clarity you know um like you would feel much more happier in your situation and that would probably lead lead you guys to like taking the next step like getting engaged or like committing to each other forever like maybe doing a rokha getting engaged maybe even getting married or even growing your family like in case you know you are already married what would happen like maybe having a kid like starting a family um it could also mean like doing business together even if you all are like already married because like why not but i feel like this is more inclined towards family and happiness and the growth of like both of you together but definitely a really good relationship like lot of harmony lot of lot of good communication and lot a lot of reciprocity of like ideas like i don't know i just feel like you know if like you're thinking one thing that person is thinking the exact same thing but like if you're thinking this is a good idea they are thinking how will i execute it and then when you all come together it's like wow it's like you all can conquer the world together and it's like with this she's looking back but i get the feeling that you will never look back because this would be something completely new you know and with the temperance and the grounding i told you it's like you found your like ground you know like you're on the floor but you're also flying so it's like somewhere between your like crazy ass fantasies and reality and you found like your mid ground so yeah that is what i see what else whether it is like the first interpretation of your single or like the second interpretation of being married i think the meaning remains the same that you're going to have a lot of fun like good communication exploring different things like brainstorming together coming up with good ideas doing things together and finding harmony and like these ideas of yours and the activities you'll do and the way you'll think is going to bring you all closer together that ultimately will lead to like this i feel and i feel like in case you know you'll have conflict or like can't or like you know go through maybe arguments or little fights you will always overcome it because like the dahlia it's supposed to be the card of the flower of endurance you know you all can endure anything together and like with this and this it's like you're armed so all the external nonsense that would otherwise affect relationships it y'all just like cut it away like it does not affect y'all the way it affects other people and i think together y'all would go on like many amazing and beautiful adventures and like y'all would have a very happy and harmonious married life because the sun is shining right under this this four of wands card Oh by the way the 4 of wands also indicates april month and since this is coming out in april this could very well mean like you know um for some of you guys this person or this relationship or the next step could happen as soon as april but obviously i don't want to be so specific since this is a general reading i'm just putting out there for some of you guys i hope it comes true though but otherwise i told you you know july august same important but definitely the start of something new a new phase or a new relationship and it's going to feel so new that even though you have probably been in relationships before and experienced love before and stuff this is going to feel something entirely different and entirely new from that hmm okay what else um i think that is it for like this segment Now we'll just look at like your oracle cards to get like more clarity. Okay, so um, 
first oracle cards i love the imagery of this like this is so passionate and this is so like erotic in some ways so whatever this is it's going to have a lot of passion to it as well um okay we have romance cupid's arrow strikes wow okay so um I definitely feel like this leans more towards people who are like not in a relationship and are looking for like something new. So like I told you, you know the divine intervention of sorts like your angels or like the universe is going to like get cupids to strike your arrow and help you meet your person. But yes, definitely something is stirring up for you guys sooner than later. The next one is passion. A magnetic, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Um. Okay. Wow. That's like basically what the card looks like. Um. I guess for some of you guys, you know, I told you that y'all are already pretty optimistic and feeling good. I think to a certain extent, what this means is that y'all are already pretty like in a good place when it comes to like your mind and your body. and maybe some of you have like a sexiness to you or like a sex appeal or something like you are innately or inherently sexy um if not this could indicate that the person coming to you could like just be sexy and you know um your relationship is going to be full of passion you know um if you had like fantasies you know especially like with this like maybe you had long term fantasies or dreams the sun is shining on you so it's going to happen whatever kinky dreams you had or whatever with this person it could very well happen um it could also be like for some of you guys like you know if you are like sexually active you could live out that in like your relationship with this person like you know have a lot of fun in that sense but if not that i feel like just your communication is going to be really good and with the fire energy yes passion is 100% there and like the card is there to confirm it um the next two cards are okay we have within the next few weeks so like i told you know this is going to happen pretty quickly and since i'm uploading this video in april it could happen like with this for some of you things could pick up as soon as like in april itself but otherwise we have like the sword energy which also means like really fast movement so if not in april it's going to happen pretty quickly and then we have the chariot and the sun which is like i told you the months of like july and august so that could also be important also yeah because the flower is the birth flower for august I feel August is important but for some people it's even considered November. So the temperance is basically Sagittarius. So even end of November could be an important period for you guys for some of you. I just forgot to mention that before so I thought I'd say it now. But yeah. That could be an important period for you guys. The next one is in the near future. <laughs> so I guess both these are just indicative of timing. When I draw these ask your angel oracle cards I never have anything specific in mind just you know what messages they have for me to know or like for you guys to know Sometimes it goes in like sync with like the reading sometimes it just has a meaning of its own sometimes it answers a question so in case you guys had a question of like when um I have mentioned time zones you know but um if those don't apply it's going to happen pretty quickly just to satisfy you so yes not to worry in that and definitely romance is in the air so i know you guys are already pretty optimistic about it given your cards like you all know it you all know that you know somebody good is going to come and swipe sweep me off my feet and it's going to happen because you all believe in you all believe it and also because like the divine is orchestrating it for you so yes nothing to worry and the last card from this reading is um nasturium victory and conquest 
he who controls others may be powerful but he who mastered himself is mightier still okay i don't know what this means yet but each of these cards come with like an inspirational message like the meaning of the flower and an inspirational message so i'm going to just read it from the book to get like more clarity so we have the entire nasturtium plant is edible including its flowers leaves and seeds the name translates from latin phrase nose twister a reference to the plant's pungent peppery taste there are several stories that explain why the nasturtium is associated with victory lenius named the plant tropolium because he thought the helmet shaped flowers resembled the trophies of battle battlefield victory also the first europeans to discover nasturtiums in Me in mexico and south america were conquistadors thus the plant came to symbolize conquest oh wow so like you know um i believe like this was south america and mexico and it's even mentioned here like it was discovered in mexico and south america so i feel south america and mexico could be important places when it comes to like meeting or finding your person just saying especially if like you guys are planning to travel in that area or your person could be from that area in case you know you'll meet in your travel somewhere else like maybe in europe or something but yeah mexico and south america important places it just reiterated here um symbolizes conquest i feel what that means is like you know in case you guys have had any miss givings or misunderstandings or preconceived notions about love before or like just had any hurdles i think what this means is that this relationship is capable of overcoming all of that and not just because like it came in like nasturtium but also because the first meaning i found of the dahlia was inner strength and it also meant um endurance like you know and commitment so like once you decide to commit to each other it's like a commitment for life also like i don't know why this this is weird and it's like it's um <laughs> just take what you want from it but like sometimes people you know like they cut their hands and they mix their blood and stuff like something completely wacko and crazy with the amount of swords that just came to my mind so it's like that kind of commitment you know like you would cut your hand and mix your blood with his blood or he mixes his blood with your blood or whatever and then you'll keep it which symbolizes your commitment to each other but this is something that is long lasting enduring and i feel like it's till the end ish and the inspirational message is let even the humblest of flowers remind you that the greatest victories you experience may be the small ones no one else ever sees conquering those inner voices of self doubt is the first step forward in your personal growth so i guess a lot of growing i said you know if you had ideas this person would come and like help you execute your ideas like i said that you know this pile comes across as a little bit of an ambitious pile because of the creativity and stuff so like with this person you can truly like conquer the world like how people say that's me and you against the world or it's me and him against the world it will actually feel like that with this person like together like if you all put your heads together and like brainstorm together and work together you all can like overcome and achieve anything you all want especially with the chariot and this it's like you all have your route and your home but you all have the ability and the army to explore and go out and invade lands and just do whatever the hell you want and achieve it and like you all will have your moment in the sun like the sun once you're together the sun i feel will just not stop shining on you because it's come under this card which is like the card of marriage and commitment so once you all commit it's like you know it will feel so glorious and warm and beautiful like a proper summer's day and when you feel that and you feel that security and commitment with this person it's like you can grow you can spread your wings you can expand yourself you can grow and like discover and do anything you want so like that's the feeling i get like with this person like and i communication i cannot emphasize on how important 
this is for this reading that your commu communication will be really good despite maybe smaller conflicts here and there and exchange of harsh words you all will overcome it in no time and your communication will just grow stronger and stronger and stronger together but yes i think overall that's everything i have for you guys in terms of this reading um most of it i got from the flower itself but I'd like to summarize optimism and enter entering somebody who's going to like be equally optimistic somebody who's very mature and articulate somebody who will support you in your ideas and dreams help you propel you further and this somebody with whom you can imagine or plan for a long term life maybe even marriage and commitment and this is going to happen pretty soon and definitely romance and passion is included it's going to it's it's given it's going to happen so yes this is everything i have for you pile 2 or group 2 and definitely really good communication honesty commitment dignity creativity i think i've been all over the place with this reading but that's all the messages that kept on coming into my head and i thought if i don't say it i would forget it so sorry about like being all over the place but otherwise i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it gave you clarity i hope it made you happy and if it did please to consider liking this video sharing it with those who you think it may help subscribing to my channel because that would help me and commenting with what resonated what didn't so i can learn and be better and i will see you in my next video bye hi so if you guys chose the third flower the cotton flower this one then this is going to be your reading um as i did the previous two readings this divide this reading is going to be divided into four parts the first one is we are just going to dwell a little bit into the spiritual meaning and symbolism of the cotton flower and how um it could provide insight or any extra information about like what is happening next in your love life like maybe um where your person is from maybe um shed some light on what your relationship would be like etc then we'll go into the tarot which covers your current status or your current like where you are currently in your relationship then what is going to happen next and finally some extra messages from your spirit guides or angels on what you need to know about this connection so um let's just begin i did a little bit of research and i got a lot of meaning about the cotton plant and since i couldn't remember everything i just wrote it down in my little black book so i'm going to just read it out so i'm um, starting off the spiritual meaning and symbolism of the cotton flower is that of luck healing and protection um it means success in material world uh, especially the indian cotton uh because of the endurance and strength that it has so um as far as i know cotton requires extremely hot and adverse climates to grow in and it is very good for heat like people love to wear cotton in the summer you know white cotton shirt or a white cotton dress so i feel like maybe this is something to do with like a warmer climate like maybe um your relationship you know um or like if you have to meet somebody or if you are already in a relationship whatever is going to happen is going to happen during the heaty or hotter months also with the endurance and the fact that cotton withstands this kind of heat i feel like in case you know you are experiencing hurdles or anything or you will um i feel like this relationship will overcome those like because of the endurance and it is extremely durable it is good for the heat it enables movement growth and power so the thing about cotton is that or the thing about this relationship the way i interpret it like for the relationship is that i think as partners you all would give each other the support that is required to help you all grow in your own respective ways or in life or in your careers you know it's like you all will provide each other the infrastructure or the space or just whatever it requires the support in order to like further growth and movement even if it is towards the relationship itself 
so that is what i take from the meaning so far cotton meaning in dreams is uh, it's some kind of spiritual awakening or an awakening of sorts like opening up to a new world so for some of you guys this could mean like a brand new relationship or like you know getting this epiphany or the sudden sense of clarity in your current relationship at least that's how i see it like just suddenly out of the blue getting this whole sense of clarity um it also is a symbol of well being and financial security because back in the day uh cultivating cotton was considered as a very lucrative business it also means a blessing from the divine so for many of you guys um who chose cotton something could be like sudden or like you know unexpected and there's no explanation of how this could have happened so it just could be like a blessing from god or like from the divine for some reason this makes me think of like you know a pregnancy or something in case you are already in a relationship and you've been wanting a kid for a while or you've just wanted your relationship to grow and suddenly it's like one day you wake up and you find out you're pregnant and you're extremely happy about it in terms of gifting people don't usually gift cotton plants because you know they're cultivated but if you were to like gift like the flower or something it would mean like you're sharing your luck and goodwill and wanting like your person to grow and prosper in life at least that's the symbolism it gives through gifting uh the origin and facts of cotton the history of cotton can be traced from the time of domestication oldest cotton textiles were found in the graves of civilizations from drier climates cotton played an important role in the history of india british empire and the united states so if you are looking at like this was in terms of crop and commodity so um from this what i can take so far is that maybe like you know this relationship would be financially very secure in that way like money won't be an issue and also these regions india british empire so like england and the united states so maybe you are or your person could be from like these places it could be like a cross country love triangle love situation as well it was also cultivated in ancient egyptian civil civilizations and they have better quality cotton like you know how they say egyptian cotton is of better quality like um i think it has like longer fibers and the quality is better hence like the clothes made are of superior quality so even though it's not mentioned in like geographically egypt could also be an important place so supposing you are traveling there's a possibility your person you may meet your person who's also traveling in egypt um or it's like the person is from egypt or you are from egypt so that could be an important place 6000 bce and it was discovered in india and pakistan in 6000 bce uh the month of cotton since it requires a particular rainfall and lot of dry heat so it depends from like country to country so i think it's like post monsoon heat so that is different for all different countries like for us monsoon starts in um june itself and extends till september and then october is like extremely heaty month but in other countries it's like of different times in the year so they've not specified like a hot any particular month but if we have to place it would be during the drier period so like maybe fall but also summer so yeah and the last part of this reading is the negative meaning only in dreams when you see dirty cotton flowers or dirty cotton it means something is not right and you have to alert your senses to avoid whatever is not correct so it just means like you know how people say don't wash your dirty linen in public it is like it's like a forewarning that something is not right before it becomes something that everybody else knows about so like an omen so i think the only negative connotation is that it is dirty cotton can indicate future problems 
and that it is like a wake up call for you to become alert about it so that is all the meaning i could find about cotton from like the internet and books and stuff and i hope it applies somewhere to your relationship but i feel like the part of like healing and protection is extremely important and success also endurance and strength i think that is what i take away the most so um it just means like whatever person or relationship you're going to get into or are in it's going to endure whatever you know it's i think endurance has in a way come for all the readings so far but more so in cotton because i think besides like the fact that cotton enables you to like move about it i think it encourages people to like it encourages movement in growth so it's like this person or like this relationship may be extremely conducive to like your personal growth you know um if that makes sense anyway we we'll just um that's more than enough about the cotton and we'll just go into like the tarot part of this reading and find out what is happening what is your first what is your current status and then what is happening so we have wheel of fortune doesn't wheel of fortune also indicate luck so i think that goes with the cotton plant connotation we have the king of swords and we have the lovers okay i have kind of a decent idea what's going on right now and i will just explain it in a minute since this is your current situation or your current status of your relationship i feel like you guys are on a brink of change like out of the blue i feel like somebody has come into your life and it's like the incipient stage of something beautiful also um there's a possibility that this person could be a little bit stoic and like probably like hasn't opened up to you as much just yet or like you know because it's like so new you're getting to know this person but i feel instinctively you know that this person could very well be your soulmate or somebody with whom um you could have like a beautiful life um so that is like i have a bunch of interpretations for this so far but that's the one that called to me the most right now um that's the first one also the lovers card makes me think that maybe y'all are not as similar as you think you are or like maybe you guys are very different but rather than having your differences clash it's like complementing each other and it's like something you're enjoying you know getting to know this person it's like the new rosiness of like a good period you know but it feels kind of new because it feels also that it happened out of the blue like you know unexpectedly and i think that goes with like the meaning of the cotton plant like luck because the wheel of fortune basically means like luck and like fate and fortune coming together to like change your life in a way that you didn't expect it and even at a time at which you didn't expect it so it's like out of this blue like this person like this king of swords is just come into your life like maybe you just happen to meet this person at a party or like via one of those dating apps or something and you didn't expect that you would actually enjoy this that much but you do but it feels very like young and new and although you're enjoying it it's like i can't just give me a minute to put it into words so it's just that feeling that okay um this is great um how long will it last and how can i get this person to open up to me more or like you know become more integrated with this person in a way so it's a good feeling but also it's a little bit like you know um you have a little bit of you know it's not like you're completely 
satisfied because you still want to know this person very well and he's like i feel like this person to a certain extent is little bit detached in nature just by his nature and uh but besides that they are like very chivalrous and they are at a high position too i feel that maybe they are also kind of accomplished in many ways because like the king doesn't work for anybody it's not like everybody gets to be king but from all the kings in the tarot the king of swords is somebody who's like the least emotional they understand responsibility very well they want to do good by the world they want to do good by their women um they are good providers they have good manners they know how to treat people with respect but sometimes it's like you know they have this hard exterior that i feel like you're trying to penetrate into because like inside they are soft but it's not to everybody that they reveal their softness but regardless of that the lovers tells me that this was unexpected and the lovers makes me think that there's a very high possibility that this person could be like your partner for life somebody with whom you can see a beautiful relationship because to get a lovers card in a love reading is like getting a jackpot and especially after the wheel of fortune it feels unexpected like you know destiny or something came into play and just suddenly dropped this person into your life and you were meant to be with this person because lovers is like finding your soulmate finding your twin flame or finding like your partner in crime and it doesn't matter how similar or different you are it's like you'll find each other in each other and it also means like the start of a beautiful relationship but the thing about the lovers card is that because it talks about what is possible but not always necessarily what is sustainable and because like you got the king of swords and this person is a little stoic and doesn't open up to you that easily you all you feel a little bit like on an edge like you feel like you need to mature or grow more in this relationship with this person like maybe you need to queen up and have this person like open up to you but it definitely is a good feeling it's a good start and there is a very high possibility that this person would be like your life partner also the wheel of fortune um covers four months or like four zodiacs so this entails february uh february which is aquarius may which is taurus uh august which is leo and november which is scorpio so those could be important months they could be like months from your birth chart and if it is then it's a confirmation that this is your reading it could be uh, months from their birth chart which also could be a confirmation that this is your reading and if it's neither it means that just that this these months could be important for you since february is gone may could be the next which also covers like a hot month also um we have like a little bit of a time zone because the king of swords i think is gemini energy which is june um and in many countries june is still considered a dry month and even the lovers is gemini energy so we have may and we have june so these two months could form a window or like an important time period when it comes to this relationship in case you guys have not met this person yet or they've not come then it's going to happen soon or later and at a time and in a way that you were not expecting it but the wheel of fortune basically moves in your favor and since it's unexpected it's because destiny or the divine had a plan for it to happen so that's what it is but since this is your current status i feel like you've just newly entered into this relationship you know and this person has come maybe your person is gemini in some ways but if not may june and those other months i talked about could form an important time period the second interpretation i had for this is that in case you are already in a relationship with someone uh may and june could be important months in that relationship it could just mean that unexpectedly your relationship you know could like um they could you could be on a brink of some kind of change in that relationship like maybe you guys need to like grow together or like maybe you are growing together 
you know because the lovers talks about fun excitement but also like finding your soulmate together complementing each other i think that also goes with the meaning of the cotton plant you know um what i talked about let me just refer to my book um uh it endurance strength and um enables movement growth and power so you know growing together and like complementing each other in this journey of growth so if you are already in a relationship i feel like your current status is that like some kind of unexpected change has happened that would involve both of you all to like grow together you know um take the next step or like endure whatever this changes or like you know overcome it together with strength and durability and like support to each other to enable this growth so like when like life or fate unexpectedly throws this change into your life instead of spiraling out of control and like going your opposite ways and not being able to deal with it it's like this would show me that you guys can deal with it and are doing it in perfect harmony and synchron synchronicity so that is what it is showing me and also enjoying the process of it so yes that is the two interpretations i have for this uh is there anything else yeah just that june and may and june could be important months and if not then the other months i talked about august or leo season and uh, scorpio season and maybe next year aquarius season could be important but i don't want to be so specific since this is a general reading so just take what resonates and like dismiss the rest hmm what else what else i had something i wanted to say but i just can't seem to recall it right now but yeah just like whatever this change is because of the endurance of the cotton it's like you will be able to overcome it and surpass it and i think it will strengthen your relationship with each other you know like because of this change you would actually become stronger and like take the next step that is what i see for those who are already in a relationship for those who are newly in one or just getting into one it could just mean that unexpectedly this happened and that it's something it's an exciting time and it's like finding your soulmate you know also the amount of air energy is giving me the feeling that your communication will be very good so what i i think that would that is an important factor and i think both the interpretations because you all can communicate well and because you all take lot of responsibility in your actions and in your communication is why you can grow in this way you know so yes um i don't know why but the word texting is constantly coming into my mind so maybe for some of you um like i'm better at texting than i am at like verbally communicating so maybe for some of you it's like maybe um maybe you all are like from different places and that is why you have a lot of things over text maybe anyway so moving on to what is coming next we have the moon we have the eight of cups and we have the world okay just give me a minute to arrange this okay so um i'm going to again i have like a whole bunch of interpretations for these cards so i'm going to continue with the first interpretation i did is that when you're just newly in a relationship um so with the moon i feel like you know the emergence of something the moon is like your subconscious you know trying to like bring out more so this gives me the feeling of literally like wanting to get to know this person more like you know understand this person more and like you know just get a feeling of this relationship and just get to know somebody more 
like express yourself wholly and completely and even have them express themselves to you wholly and completely also the moon is pisces energy so because i said something recent for maybe some of you like i'm shooting this still in like march although it will be like uploaded and released in april so i i this definitely feels like something that started like in march itself in case you know you're watching this immediately after i uploaded if not pisces season or march this could be an important month for you so yes but like you know the pool of your subconscious like you know everything that's on your mind telling that person and like communicating and talking and with the eight of cups it's like you know embarking on a journey so like starting a journey of something new the thing about this card is that because the mountains it mountains usually indicate hurdles or like something that is not easy so it's like something that is like it feels like it has very good potential because you feel like this person could be your possible soulmate and this person very well could be so it's like you know it feels a little daunting but you are up for the task and this is a journey it's like not something you want to like broadcast or endorse or tell a lot of people so i feel like for many of you this could be like something new but it's not like come out to the world as yet also because i see so much of night i feel like maybe your communication or whatever it is happens a lot at night like during the night time also because of like the night and the mountains it also gives me the feeling that maybe this person happens to be of like a different country so like their day time is your night time or like your night time is their day time no that's just what i said so like you know um your day time is their night time so like maybe like there's a time difference and you know because i said that um this is somebody you could have met on a dating app or maybe even like social media and because like it was unexpected so like you didn't expect somebody to just slide into your dms and like you actually get into a conversation with that person and it's actually something nice like you know finding out your pen pal for so many years is actually your soulmate or something it feels like that kind of energy also the moon is like you know your dreams and fantasies coming to life so it's like somebody with whom you have like these dreams and visions and fantasies and the and it also gives me the feeling like maybe you know you have been dreaming about this person for a while you know in a way that this person is like the living manifestation of your dreams in reality but definitely it's like the start of a new journey and because it's new and because like you know maybe you've been in relationships before and it is beautiful and it is rosy but there's still like you get you still have to get to know this person more but you are up for the journey or up for the task and because you don't want so many of like outside influences and all like telling you what to do or like is this a good idea it's like you don't tell many people or like people question your intentions but you're like i know what i got to do i know what i got to do maybe for some of you you guys will even travel to this person like physically maybe go and see this person if this person is not from a different country or something then it just means like you know taking the journey to get to know this person more so like meeting this person more even if it means like you know meeting late after work at night even though you're tired but you feel it's worth your effort because it's going to like it's going to help you grow in this relationship so you do it also um the eight of cups means a lot of self growth you know it's like a journey people take within themselves also and since the cotton means like you know self growth and movement this relationship or this person may also be somebody with whom you know you are like this relationship could be encouraging your own growth also so it's like you've met this person and you're happy but also it's like both of you or you especially i like transforming into the best version of yourself and that is not the easiest thing to do but it's worth the effort of taking like this journey or embarking on this journey you know 
and with the world card at the end this makes me feel like everything you've done is worth the effort because the world card means the completion of a cycle means like mission accomplished you've reached your end goal and you feel on top of the world the world card means the culmination of your desire so if like this whole thing means like i want to get to know this person i want to become official i want to date this person and have a good life with them then it's like this is the end result and it's going to happen also the world card is once again um a culmination of four zodiac signs the same as the wheel of fortune which is uh, aquarius taurus oh god i forgot leo and scorpio so since there are two cards indicating this these months could be extremely important and crucial to you so yes that is one interpretation i had also the sorry also the world card uh, indicates like you know why restrict yourself to just one part of the world that's why it gave me the feeling like maybe this person is from like a different nationality or a different country which is why like the mountains are there so like maybe they'll come to meet you or you will take the journey to meet them and when you like cross these mountains to go and see them the feeling or the reward of it would like mean like a culmination of your desire so like if you had this dream like feeling like you know if i took the journey i went and surprised them they're going to be so happy to see me that is what's going to happen you know just whatever you imagined everything you ever wanted the world card indicates it's going to happen oh uh, yes um I had one more thing but once again as usual I forgot what it was. Let me just give me a minute to think what I wanted to say. I just have to say it's not what I wanted to say but just it occurred to me that whatever this is this new relationship or this new person I would just say that keep communication very good because I think that is going to lead you guys to have like the strongest and most enduring and long lasting relationship there is. You know don't keep things inside and bottled up. The moon means like the emergence of something, you know something has to be let out. And I feel like you know if you open up to this person they will open up to you if you be honest and don't bottle things up. It will actually help you. So I feel that is going to cause like this growth you know overcoming these mountains and like speaking the truth and telling them how you really feel or things you liked about them or didn't like about them and that's going to actually strengthen your relationship and make it like more wholesome like the world and probably even they would start to open up to you you know and plus like the we have king and under the king we have the 8 of cups so i feel like even for them it's like you know um embarking on this journey you know of like maybe the girlfriends or maybe like the partners they've had in the past they've not been able to open up to them the way they feel like they can to you so but for them it's never been easy because in, intrinsically they are not people who open up that easily so they but they don't mind you know taking that journey taking that effort going through this transformation to be able to open up to you but definitely something is going to come out of this situation or this relationship or this connection that's going to make you feel like you're on top of the world like the result of it or the outcome of it is beautiful and it's nice and it's like you know this actually closes the tarot so it's like the end of a complete cycle so if like you know you have like started this new relationship and you are enjoying the newness but you want to like get past it and go to the next level this would indicate yes that is going to happen but it's not going to be like the easiest journey it's like you have to grow as individuals to get here so yes that is what i had to say uh the second interpretation i had for this is um in case you are already in a relationship i told you something unexpected would happen and since this has come with under the moon and the moon means the emergence of something there is a possibility that maybe um some of you 
would out of the blue be expecting maybe a child i think i mentioned that even with the cotton you know wow what was that line i had said oh movement growth and power sign of a spiritual awakening or opening to a new world blessing from the divine so yes maybe it's like you know you were like your baby could be an unexpected blessing so like and the thing is because the eight of like pregnancy is nine months but because this is eight maybe you found out you're pregnant after like your first month so it could be like that is the unexpected thing but something has to emerge from both of y'all and i feel like that is it and because it was so out of the blue and so sudden also blue because of like the blue colors um it's like you have to prepare yourself for this you have to prepare yourself for this new adventure and this new journey and the king of swords is somebody who takes tremendous responsibility so this would be a very good partner in like a pregnancy he would make a really good partner in your pregnancy somebody who would really hold your hand through it and together you all can get through it i think that also goes with the endurance also since we have lovers and the world the lovers means your soulmate and it also means like you know a marriage of the divine like even if it doesn't mean a physical marriage it means like you all are still like somehow bound together and married and the world card means like the completion of a whole thing and like like a culmination of your desires and like basically growth so like it means the end of an old cycle and start of something new it also means like the growth of a family like you know um to feel complete so if you've been married or been in this relationship for a really long time and like you're pregnant it's like you know destiny and faith had you guys to like become this whole and complete family to feel wholesome and like i don't know why but the word complete is constantly coming to mind in reference to like having a kid like that is how you guys feel complete even if like you all were not preparing for it or like expecting it it just happened to happen and it's made you guys feel extremely happy and complete but also it's like a little bit of anxiety in preparing yourself for this new adventure but the result of it would be very good in case you have been trying to have a baby then i feel like this is a confirmation that it might just happen because this means like you know something is trying to emerge from inside of you like a new life or like something new and also since the whole thing was like if from divine in a new beginning it could mean that in case it's not the pregnancy thing it could just mean that your relationship is taking a next step you know like maybe you've had maybe a little bit of like a downward spiral or like you just had like a bit of a downside to it or like you've just been going through a little bit of a upheaval the cotton mention like you know clarity a burst of like clarity an awakening of sorts so like this sense of clarity so it's like you know you could overcome whatever that is and come out stronger but like the eight of cups makes me think of like doing couples therapy or just like you know working hard together towards yourselves and with each other and because of the lovers card and the fact that cotton indicated like movement and growth this could mean that instead of like fighting about it a lot you all are like helping each other overcome this thing that you're going through and you all will come out stronger wow for this this pile i have like so many interpretations like so many interpretations so yeah that is like one of the meanings so okay the other interpretation i had was that um so the other unexpected change that could be happening is the fact that maybe you and your partner could be like geographically physically moving or maybe like he happens to be moving away you know like to another part of the world or something maybe to study maybe to work and it's like okay how are we going to make this work but 
long distance or whatever it's gonna it's gonna endure it's gonna be fine y'all will just figure out each other's schedules and timetables and it would work out and if you're moving with this person maybe you feel daunted at the start but like i said you know movement and growth since cotton enables movement and growth um growing moving together would actually help you grow together like you know understand each other's patterns and rhythms and you know like how both of y'all together can adapt together in a whole new country or in a whole new setting whatever it is this movement it's gonna the result of it is gonna be good it's gonna be good because it's like y'all are willing to like take in that effort and work hard and embark on this journey together so yes that was the other interpretation i had i hope it resonates with some of you guys but yeah just whatever is inside your mind and your heart don't keep it bottled in because communication is key in this relationship and it's important that you tell each other exactly how you feel about these particular changes or moods but it's going to be like taking a new step or like a new beginning for you guys of sorts in this relationship you know so yes that is what i had and that is what i wanted to say um moving on to your oracle cards let's just like see from like your romance cards what this has to say like i love this imagery it looks so nice like you know both of you all are cuddled together and like this person is protecting you so i think protection is also one of the meanings that came out of that and this one it's like it's supposed to be tears but instead of tears it's like sunlight so like don't keep things bottled in communicate so the first one we have is playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer so i know that like, all these cards look kind of serious but with the lovers it talks about having fun you know it talks about like that erotic passion going to new heights doing things together going to places you didn't think you would be able to go but because you are with one another you feel like everything is possible so have fun you know it's like i know this whole thing looks serious but there's definitely a playfulness in this whole thing like you would enjoy each other's company enjoy these new adventures that you have to embark upon together and just enjoy the whole process of it the next one is look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is deep as the ocean mhm mm it's very romantic also i think oceans is like what divides like places and countries so in case you know this is like this person is moving away or like the first thing i said like maybe this person could be from a different country this overseas relationship or long distance or whatever it's called you don't have anything to worry about because like their love is as deep as the ocean and you can feel it like if you instinctively feel or intuitively feel like you know this person is your soulmate and is meant to be go with that lead with that feeling because there is no need to feel insecure or anything they are going to be loyal to you because like we are looking at the tarot and we see that the end result is the world card which means the culmination of your desires so your end result is inevitably going to be very beautiful so you have nothing to truly worry about so don't ever doubt they truly love you they love you completely even if like they're stoic as the king and you know it's like you have to still unravel layers of them it's going to happen but even in their detachedness or in their like unrevealing nature they still love you deep inside they do they do very much so there's nothing to worry the next ones are um trust and we have remain positive so um i think trust 
is universally something that you know just trust everything is going to be good and going great so if it's a pregnancy and it was unexpected trust it's a blessing if this person is moving away trust that your long distance is going to work if this is a new relationship trust that this person could very well be your soulmate and somebody with whom you know you choose to start a family or go the distance and trust that the effort you're putting in this relationship is going to work if you're going through that phase of hurdles trust that you guys would come out of it stronger as long as you're willing to take the effort put in the work and communicate clearly and remain positive i think goes for the whole everything is going to be okay situation whether it is coming out of a conflict or whether it's like doing the long distance it's going to be okay and as long as you remain positive you invite in positive things so i think um these are just words of advice or wisdom from your angels regarding this connection or this relationship in case you were wondering and the last card is um clem i don't know how to pronounce this um said clematis intelligence and mental beauty wisdom is the abstract of the past but beauty is the promise of the future so like i told you you know a beautiful culmination a beautiful ending of your desires so whatever it is it's going to be extremely beautiful um each of these cards come with like this inspirational message from a book so i'm just going to read that to get like more clarity and um here's the message the clematis is known for its climbing habit gently making its way up over arbors and trellises lending a lofty beauty to the garden it was christened christened the virgin's bower as a tribute to queen elizabeth the first who was taken with its enchanting fragrance the flower came to be associated with her intelligence and mental beauty later as the popularity of the clematis spread the flower also came to emblematize worldliness it was also called traveler's joy since the spreading vine provided shade on porches and in entrance ways the inspirational message is keep your feet firmly planted on the ground with the foundation of knowledge expand your mind with new experiences and your spirits will soar to new heights so like what did i say this person or this relationship is truly going to help you grow and become the best versions of yourself and go to different heights when it comes to like yourself or this relationship and since since this this is kind of like a wine and it spreads and it talks about what is that traveler's joy i definitely feel like travel is an important element in this relationship and the fact that somebody is moving away or you guys are moving together or maybe this person is from a different country and it's like a long distance or it's like somebody you're texting to or you're talking to from like social media or something i feel like the distance is actually going to help you grow because distance actually brings two people closer in that sense if you know what i mean and although these cards look serious you're going to truly enjoy the process like you're going to come out of it stronger and happier and like the end result is going to be so beautiful like everything was worth it in the end you're going to feel on top of the world you're going to feel like you own the world i love it when this card comes like it truly makes me so happy it's like everything i've wished for and dreamed for is going to happen So I guess that is everything I have for you group 3 or those of you who chose the cotton flower. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please do consider liking this video, sharing it with those who you think it may help or those who you think will enjoy such videos, commenting with what resonated and finally subscribing to my channel because that would really help me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, so if you guys chose the fourth flower or the fox glove, this one, then this is going to be your reading. So how this reading works is that I'm going to first um just talk about the flower, um tell you about its spiritual and symbolic meaning and try and extract 
how much our meaning or interpretation we can from the flower about your impending relationship or what's going to happen next in your love life then we are going to move on to the tarot that talks about your current situation like where you are currently your status what you're feeling what is happening what's weighing on your heart and then we'll move on to what's coming in your love life and then the last part if you're reading will consist of these oracle cards which are just messages from your angels or spirit guides or the universe just with any extra messages about this connection or the outcome or any advice or anything you should need to know so anyway um foxglove um i have to say that while researching upon this flower and its spiritual meaning um this is the only flower that came up with like so much meaning in so many different countries and cultures so like the dahlia this one is also according to me extremely diverse so i just want to like give you a heads up and say that maybe um this could be something like this reading or just the people who watch who've chosen this flower could be like from all over the world or something because like with other flowers we had like regions and stuff so does this flower but it just that the meaning and the amount of places that came up with stories and legends regarding the foxglove flower it was like very diverse but you'll know about it when i talk about like the meaning so let's just get into that so the meaning and spiritual symbolism of the foxglove the basic meaning is it it is interpreted as intuition pride creativity energy and magic like these are the symbolic meaning of this flower in terms of the victorian language of flowers a gift of the foxglove would mean i'm ambitious for you rather than for myself so if i have to interpret this in terms of a relationship it could mean that your partner likes to work hard in order to give you a good life or it's that that you motivate them to work hard as hard as they do for you the next meaning is there are about 20 species of fox glove but the most common ones um are i'm sorry i just lost that where did i write it the most common ones are like pink or purple but other hybrid varieties can be yellow with white uh the common fox glove is a bi biennial or short lived perennial it takes up to 2 years for the fox glove to bloom the first year it grows a rosette of velvety green foliage and in the second year it blooms producing spikes that reach up to 2 feet tall and the entire plant reaches up to 5 feet tall so if i have to like interpret this in terms of a relationship this is not something that happens like overnight or quick it's like in your first year you create the foundation or you get to know somebody or it's like you know your friends at the start you know it's like your largest friends and then later on you'll become like lovers or something so like the first year you build the foundation you plant the seeds and then in the second year you see it blossoming into something better so this is um although it feels long term i it just it's like a slower moving energy according to me like it's something that happens over a period of time something that develops over a period of time it's not like i met this guy and we were dating we fell in love we got engaged we got married no it's like you met this person for many months you guys were just friends or something and then you all develop like these feelings like these romantic feelings that's how i see it then um uh, its history and origin it is native to europe and has been cultivated since the 1400s it was introduced to north america in the 18th century and became naturalized in many regions it is also found in the mediterranean northwestern africa and parts of asia so these places could be important from like where your partner is from or where you are from or like a place where you guys might meet or have met The origin of the foxglove is unclear but it is extremely popular in folklore. 
It is commonly known as the fairy's glove or the fairy's thimbles because of its shape, like the shape of a thimble. Ah, uh, and as it is, and as it grows, it prefers to grow in disturbed soil. It was, it was consisted. It was thought that that was the territory of the little folk. Hence, it was called folk's glove, which morphed into fox glove. So yeah, that's just like how the name came about. Then it has many medicinal uses. So, but the entire plant, the flowers, roots, and stem are poisonous to humans, dogs, cats, and horses. So I guess in some ways you can consider this as like a double-edged sword. It's beautiful. It's got its healing capabilities, but in larger doses or like you know in in an accident it can be pretty toxic so yeah that is something to keep in mind however despite its toxic nature it is used to produce a drug called digoxin digoxin used to help heart muscle it is used to help make the heart muscle work efficiently it also is used to treat epilepsy edema ovarian dropsy and tuberculosis in terms of its cultural significance, um, it was symbolized as the flower of fairies and little folk. In several European countries, it was associated with witchcraft and fairy love, fairy lore. Yeah. In Ireland, it was used to thwart an evil eye and break hexes. Um, in the Scand according to Scandinavian legend, fairies taught foxes how to warn each other of impending danger or hunters by ringing foxglove bells. According to Roman Roman myth, Hera or Juno, uh, the stomach of Hera or Juno was touched by her belly was touched with a foxglove by Flora, which caused her to become pregnant with Mars and Vulcan. Marks. Mars or Vulcan, I don't know. I don't know this legend, but basically. And it was also popular, like it was believed that Van Gogh's yellow face was caused due to the consumption of foxglove to treat his epilepsy. It was just a rumor, but you know, his yellow face. He also painted a lot of foxgloves apparently. In terms of seasons, the foxglove blooms in from late spring to early summer. So that could be an important time period for like if we are looking at like what's happening and when. And in terms of its negative symbolism, it could indicate a lot of pride because the foxglove flowers are actually truly very beautiful to look at. And it could also symbolize insincerity. insincerity. So I guess if you had to translate that, it would mean like infidelity, like not being sincere to your partner or something. So yeah, that is what I get from the flower. Compared to all the other flowers, this one I guess had like maximum meaning and more like moreover it had like a lot of significance in different cultures of different countries. In other places, the flowers were like Victorian era, Roman era, but in this. It was popular in so many different regions, in Ireland, in Scotland, in Scandinavia. So, yeah. Okay, so that is everything I have on the flower. I just think it's really beautiful in this way. And also it reminds me of bells. I think even the bell flower remind me of bells. So, I'm just going a little ahead of myself. But maybe for some of you, this could indicate like actual wedding bells. You know, like if what's next happening in your love life, maybe some of you, this may be an indication of an impending marriage or maybe like your partner or whoever is going to like propose to you. It's possible. So, yes. Anyway, now we'll just move on to the tarot to get an idea of where you are currently in your relationship and what is expected to happen next. Okay, so... um First card is the King of Cups. The second card is the Three of Swords. Okay. And the last card is the Four of Swords. A lot of sword energy. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, let me just adjust it for a minute. Okay, so um, I'm getting the feeling that like you are the King of Cups. So the interpretation I'm getting is that you've been through some kind of a heartbreak or a disappointment. And um, at this time you're like, okay, it's not like left you feeling like broken or sad or moping it's like the four of wands means like you know blissful sleep like not stressful sleep but also it indicates like some kind of a stagnant energy like not moving out too much so the way i see this is that because of like this hurt or breakup or even like this sense of disappointment it's left you feeling like, you know, it just let, left you feeling that it's better at this time to like take things low or like, you know, just take a step back or just like give a little break to like this whole dating thing. Then date somebody I'm not too happy with. Uh, date somebody who's going to like go, go about and break my heart again. Um, the King of Cups makes me think that, you know, the King of Cups is somebody who sees things from a start to the end. Somebody who maintains calm and like very emotionally choppy waters. And that kind of comes through with like the Four of Swords. So it's like, whatever this is, you're handling it like a champ. <laughs> Sorry, but you're handling it like really well. You're being super mature about it. You're just lying low. And that kind of makes me think that maybe whatever this is, it's not as painful or bad as it seems. It's just like, I feel like the word disappointment constantly coming to my mind. You know, it's just the word disappointed. So like, for example, um, like, for example, supposing it's like, you know, you decided to try out like these dating apps like Bumble or Hinge or something. And you asked your friends and they were like, oh my god, it's not that great. The guys there, they seem nice at the start, but it's not so great. And you're like, I'm going to try it out anyway. And then you like sign up for it and everything. Then you meet somebody or like somebody swipes right for you. I don't know how it works, but like you meet somebody, you'll get chatting and talking and you enjoy that person's company and you think that, okay, this could be something good. And then you'll decide to meet in person. And then it's like, Either he or she doesn't show up or like when they show up to meet them in flesh versus like, you know, just meeting them online they are two completely different things and you're left feeling really disappointed in a way, you know, and the king of cups is somebody who obviously does not compromise, somebody who's like, you know, a king doesn't just date anybody not somebody who compromises also this is somebody who has a lot of emotional integrity and maturity and this is somebody other people look up to in a way and this is somebody who sees things from start to an end so it's like you're not looking for like a summer fling or something you're just looking for something that is more long term and maybe it's like you know your search has been a little bit futile to find somebody who shares the same value as you and that is why you're left disappointed like maybe you're just disappointed with like the whole dating scene altogether like oh god i didn't know it was actually like so bad or it was like so shallow or something and that's why it's like you know um the four of swords is like i'm gonna just sleep on it for a bit you know i'm gonna just take a step back I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to just take my needed rest and reju rejuvenation. You're not going to cry over it or something a lot. At the same time, it's like, you know, I'd rather just be alone and single than date somebody who I know is going to just break my heart or is going to like go ahead and just disappoint me. So I just, I'm sensing a little bit of like disappointment or like maybe even hurt, but not that much. So it's not like you're extremely sad or vulnerable or you're like moping and you're like, oh God, nothing is going to happen or something like that. It's just that I feel like whatever this is, 
you're taking time off to recover from it and like being the king it's not like you know your standards are lowered or anything you're just like i'd rather be single wait for a bit find the right kind of a person then like just date for the heck of it and like get disappointed all over again and also the king is like somebody who recovers very quickly somebody who is very strong somebody who is very compassionate so it's like not hardened you or anything you're still that same soft emotional beautiful person you need to be but you're just like on a break and it's not like you're compromising or like lowering your standards in any way so yeah that is what i see as your current status uh, a second interpretation is that you were in a relationship with somebody who you thought would be long term or something but for some reason maybe it didn't work out and that is why you're left heartbroken and disappointed and like you're in recovery of that like you're in a not in a bad place like i said this doesn't like this just shows like you know somebody who's resting is having like a nice dreamless normal sleep not something like you know an agonizing period or an, it's not like the nine of swords kind of energy this is like very different somebody who's just resting peacefully thinking about the good stuff you know is not affected a lot somebody who's just resting and rejuvenating and also the fact that this is a night it's like your armored so this recovery is teaching you to repel away or like you know not let unnecessary nonsense hurt you anymore so it's like you're in a place where you're like rebuilding yourself like making yourself stronger like making yourself like the king of cups kind of energy like you know nonsense doesn't bother me like i'm not going to waste my time in nonsense i'm for the long haul i'm trying to see somebody from start to the end i have the emotional maturity to understand things so like that's the feeling i'm getting also the king of cups is somebody who's very creative so there's a possibility that you know you've like dived into your work and that's why your love life is kind of taking a backside and that's why it's like a little bit of a stagnant energy like you're just focusing on your creative endeavors and pursuits it's what i feel it's what i'm getting from this interpretation so that is what i have in terms of like your current situation where the amount of souls energy um air months or the air signs like aquarius gemini and libra could be significant for you guys in any way uh, either it's like in your birth chart somewhere or in the chart of somebody who broke your heart or just in general or like those months could be important just thought i should mention it okay so now we'll just move on to like what's coming next in terms of like your relationship so um we have the star okay wow <laughs> the star is aquarius energy by the way so we have the four of wands wow your wait your wait is worth the while okay why these are slipping so much okay and the last one is the six of cups okay okay i'm just i get i have a really good idea what's going on here okay so um moving on to your oracle cards let's just look at like any extra messages you need to know from your guides i don't know why this keeps on going up just adjust it a little bit yeah there we go so any messages from your angels or your guides so we have like these two cards i love the imagery of this it's like you know embracing your femininity and like just feeling happy in being who you are the first message is imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life so i think that is what like you actually are doing here you know in a way like making by like taking a step back 
away from this you're like making space or making room for like things that actually make you happy and opening yourself up for like this person to come into your life or this person to return into your life like a union and obviously um because you're opening up the universe is like okay she's ready for this and there is like divine intervention and they think it's like you're ready for this so they send this person in but yes it basically means that opening yourself up to new opportunities and possibilities for your life and i think in that case this possibility is like the return of somebody who is actually your soulmate or somebody completely wholly new coming into your life who is your soulmate the next one is um embrace through each other find the missing pieces so i think you know whatever this was in the past that caused you to like go on the separation this time when you embrace this person or this relationship back into your life it's like finding those missing pieces like healing yourself from this oh by the way the star the come after the storm also indicates like a lot of healing and since this is a love reading this could indicate like healing away from this like healing away from the scars this has left you or healing from whatever fractured your relationship in the first place this could also indicate like you know healing yourself so if this is not the return of an ex this could mean like this new person who comes into your life will help you heal old wounds you know and because they are helping you heal from these old wounds you have the ability to move on and like find real true stability and happiness in your relationship and because you found like happiness stability that innocent joy your relationship would automatically like go further and become like this like go the mile and like result in like marriage or like long term partnership or like expansion of your family of sorts you know because it's helped you heal and because you're inviting it in so um when it comes to your ask your angel cards we have recovery which i think basically means this i don't know why i forgot to mention it before i guess i was just distracted but basically it's like recovering so if like it's an old person coming back it would be like recovering or like you know um like i said unlike other flowers this one had many medicinal values so i feel like for you guys it would like you know healing your relationship whatever caused these spikes or like these obstacles from you guys being together in the first place um the return or the timing at which this person returns or the circumstances in which he returns this time you are capable of healing that of like you know um recovering from that like this healing and recovery both and look at how how much ease this person is like there's you and i think this is like your higher self so i feel like listening to your intuition and like embracing this would really be like you know your higher self and you coming into sync also uh, if you happen to like have dreams about this person it just occurred to me it's probably your higher self communicating with you or like it could be a sign like this person's return or this person could be close by if it's a whole new person maybe your dreams would be like more vivid like probably not like having a concrete face or something but maybe it's like your higher self telling you that don't worry just like keep going be be optimistic open yourself up and somebody is going to come especially if you're like dreaming about it or like being in love in your dreams or something it means your person may be close also the star is very fast moving energy and it's also sudden so it's like you know this may happen at any time unexpectedly but like you know we talked about that window you know uh, between like april and june so it could be that but obviously this is a general reading so i don't want to like set it hard in stone or anything but maybe for those of you who are watching this right away those months could be important yes so and um the next one is be assertive 
so um maybe what this means is like when this person comes along don't continue this lax energy you know make the move make plans to go out and like i think also like be honest with yourself and be honest with this person you know when it comes to your feelings and stuff like how children you know when they play with somebody and they get infatuated with somebody and they like somebody they don't think about like you know keeping it keeping it in and stuff they just blurt it out that oh i like that person or that person is my boyfriend or i love that person like in a very innocent way right so be assertive like i know that you're probably in a you know place or in a phase where you know you're taking things slow and you've taken a step back but when this person comes and if your intuition is telling you that yes this is somebody worth waiting for this is somebody worth you know putting yourself out there for this is worth somebody waking up for then be assertive you know make your like make plans share your feelings share your thoughts also with the fire energy besides like innocent playfulness and having fun and like being totally entirely yourself i also see like passion and spark so it's going to be like a passionate fiery spark energy in a way plus the star indicates like you know like feeling very light you know feeling that bubbly enthusiasm inside of you so like doing a lot of fun things together but in order to do that you have to be assertive you have to like be the one also making the plans you know that person this person will also want to like plan things with you this person will be extremely like warm towards you and aquarius energy means somebody who's happy happy go lucky they like to have a good time you know they don't like the star the calm after the storm is like you know every time you're with them you feel light and you feel happy and you feel like going out and like you enjoy their company like with them you forget your troubles kind of a feeling i'm getting and like you know and they don't even have to try hard they are so innocent in the way they do it and like you know in a way their happiness or their fun energy is contagious so if like they are fun your fun and with them doing things is like so easy like life feels so uncomplicated around them because like see how easily they are just sharing these flowers and putting it in these little goblets and having such a nice time doing it so it's like around them you would be like you'll forget all your shit and i think that's how you know your healing will happen and also yes with the medicinal thing you know it will be like you will be healed before you even know it and you won't even realize you're in this process of healing it would feel so natural to you also i forgot to mention that because of the amount of healing things there's a high possibility this person could be like a doctor maybe i've not said this for any of the other readings like what their profession could be but i'm just saying it also a lot of balance a lot of reciprocity a lot of harmony and stability so i think it's like this relationship is like the whole package the fun and adventure the stability in family and the respect and reciprocity and balance like what more can you ask for <laughs> and i think i'd said no that was for cotton but basically it would be a very harmonizing thing also um like i said the fox glove you know can be also very toxic so that just gave me the that gave me the feeling that whatever old toxicities you had regarding old relationships or just old dating routines or whatever that was like causing you to like take the step back or causing you any kind of hurt i think this is going to heal that completely you know anyway so then the last card is like this from the botanical inspirational deck so it's also a flower card so we have okay so we have bell flower here and i think bell flower was like the first flower we used in this reading so the message is gratitude gratitude makes sense to our of our past brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow so um that is each of these cards come with like an inspirational message 
in the book so i'm going to just read it from the book but also um since i did a little bit research i'm even going to read the research i did on the bellflower from like my notes so the inspirational messages there are all kinds of enchanting stories associated with the bellflower in ancient mythology venus owned a magic looking glass with the power to transform anything ordinary into something beautiful when cupid accidentally broke the mirror each broken shard turned into a lovely bellflower sweet little bellflowers are also believed by some to be gifts of gratitude by left by fairies and the inspirational message you find goodness in small things that others might miss by looking at the bright side you are cultivating true gat gratitude so i think you're going to feel extremely lucky and grateful when this person comes into your life like i told you you know like with them you will enjoy the most silliest and the most mundane of activities which is what finding joy in like by looking at the bright side and like um finding the goodness in small things but basically feeling extremely grateful for this person to have come into your life at a time like this like you're going to be very grateful and because you're like in this state of gratitude you're inviting in more beautiful things if you know what i mean you're inviting in and you're attracting in more happiness more joy you know more happiness with this person so um the other meaning of the bell flower is i'm just yeah you know that is okay so the spiritual meaning and symbolism it's gratitude constancy support and romance regardless of species or variety they are they share a common set of meaning and symbolism so there are like about 500 species of bell flower but basically this is the meaning like gratitude constancy support and romance so definitely a very romantic time for you and you have to like learn to embrace it according to the ancient roman mythology it is linked to the god linked to the beauty of the goddess venus and her vanity according to the victorian era cream colored ones were most popular in the victorian era for bouquets and the pyramid shaped indicated commitment so i guess that's where like the marriage card comes in like this could be the long haul thing where somebody eventually commits to you like you'll find so much balance and harmony in each other that obviously like you'll become like the proper partners in crime in crime that ultimately it does lead to like some of the other commitment in terms of gifting gratitude thank you for your love and support so like again i think the main meaning of the bell flowers like gratitude and being thankful and like both of these are shaped like bells so i definitely feel like for some of you when this person comes back into your life and you will have your union or if it's a new person it is ultimately going to lead to marriage even if it's a summer romance it will start out it will start out like that but it will blossom into something so much more beautiful um it was also mentioned in many of shakespeare's sonnets so one of them was uh, mentioned in a midsummer's midsummer night's dream i don't know if it is actually that because he used many flowers in his sonnets but all the other flowers were named like daisies roses lilies violets but he's not exactly named the bell flower but i think this paragraph kind of indicates it's the bell flower so i'm going to just read it yet marked i wear the bolt of cupid fell it fell upon a little western flower before milk white now purple with love's wound and maidens call it love and idleness so i think that summarizes this you know like in your idleness you'll come across this beautiful flower where the cupid fell and it used to be milky white but with the touch of love it became purple you know so like in this place of stagnancy or like not knowing what's happening next or like you know just not having things moving in terms of your love life when this person comes he is going to bring he or she is going to bring so much color into your life it's going to feel extremely beautiful and romantic then um we have the origin and facts about the bell flower it is annual or perennial uh, and it prefers cooler climates i think that goes 
with like the whole this being in like Europe and North America. So even this one, some species are native to North America while others are found exclusively in Europe. So I guess they share similar, they share similar, you know, places. So maybe North America and Europe could be essential places where you meet your person or where your person is from or where you're from or like where this romance happens. Um, the Northern Hemisphere, some parts and mountainous regions of Asia and Africa. Those also could be important. It has been cultivated since the 1700s and 1800s. So like, you know, the mountainous regions I told you, like you might do a lot of outdoors fun stuff. So this reminds me of like mountain fields and stuff and enjoying. So you guys may go on hikes. You guys may go camping, you know, you might, you might just go on long walks in the wilderness and enjoy that. And be like, oh my god, I saw that flower. Oh my god, I saw a bell flower. Oh my god, I saw a foxglove. And that might fascinate you. And if you do happen to see these flowers close by, it could be an indication that your soulmate or this person, your union is also close and impending. Um, the month is late spring till the end of fall. But this one was till I think spring till like early summer or something. The only negative part about the bellflower is a vanity. So like don't get carried away. But besides that, it has no other negative connotations. So um, wow, this is the one reading with like two flowers. So anyway, um, this is everything I have for you. I know I was all over the place for this reading, but it just there was so much to tell. So um, I hope it resonated with you. I hope it, it you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you clarity in what's happening next in your love life. And if it did, please do consider liking this video, um, commenting with what resonated, sharing my videos with those who you think it may help, and subscribing to my channel because that would really help me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.